Bam, we back. Young Zeke TV, boy. Got my partner in the building. My boy Mo. Yes, sir. Uh, Grammy and graduate. Yes, Member of the Muscle Up Car Club. All day. Got his new podcast popping, Too Hard to Swallow. Y'all give it up for my boy Mo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, man. Hey, bro, I can't call you, man. You know what I'm talking about? Appreciate you uh, calling me out, man. You know, we've been down for a minute. You oh, know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. You yeah. know, you're always on your grind, man. I like to see, you know, black entrepreneurs, you know, taking care of business. You know, um, what gave you the drive, man, to do everything you do? I, bro, since I was little, bro, I, I, I always seen that you can make money doing anything, bro. I'm talking about, I used to say it. My mama bought donuts, bro. I sell them donuts right out the box. She come home, like, where all the donuts at, mama? We ate them. I just <laughs> sold them, like, you know what I'm saying? So I used to go on the Florence in the Grove. I used yeah. to uh, buy a Chico stick for 75 cent, bro, and sell it to a cat for $1.50 when I got to school. I mean, uh, it's just it's just too easy to make money, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're always so, thinking of a flip. Yeah, huh? always trying to flip something. You, <laughs> hey, you better have somebody. You know, you know, you know, you know tomorrow. Um, tell tell us how it was though growing up and know uh, were you in the Grove? Man, on the cool, bro. I started out in Oak Cliff, man. No Cliff. D Daniel Webster, Jefferson Davis. You know what I'm saying? You grew up in the home with your mother and father, Mo like yeah. normal home. Yeah, yeah. Well, I grew up with mama. My daddy, you know, he was around. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning, you know, mm -hmm. till I was about five, and then I think they separated. But you know, he didn't ever, you know, leave or nothing. But he was still around. You know what I'm saying? Live in East Texas, but he pull up on me, you know, and surprise me or whatever. So, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. I was on, but like I was saying, I was on Keystone Polk from 82 to 86, and then I moved to the Grove, you know what I'm saying? You know, but I, anybody where I'm from, I'm telling them to grow, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect. Right. But it is what that's, it is. That's you know what where you learned all your yeah, stuff from. That's where I got it. Right, you know what I'm talking about? Okay. Um, how, how did you, um, we're going to skip past elementary, junior high. What took you to, uh, Grambling. How on did the, you get into Grambling? On the cool, I think I went to that Grambling PV game that year before, the year of my senior year, and I had filled out applications to go to college, and Grambling was one that, that was accepted. You know what I'm saying? And then my mama like, well, you going somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, if I got to go to school, I'm going to kick it. You know what I'm telling me? So <laughs> I, went to, I went to Grambling. I was just going to ask you that. What made I, you pick Grambling? Yeah, you I just wanted asked. to kick it. I wanted to kick it. I went down there and kicked it out four years. Yeah. And out of that thing. And what you know year what was saying? that? 92 to 96. No. Did, did, did any stars, anybody that just, you know, uh, like. Erica she, Badu. She went there? Yeah. Erica Badu was there. E-40 mm -hmm. had just left. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Juvenile. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was in school. Misko uh, came down there, but he wasn't in school. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. We had so some. it was just a big party, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, no no type of sports stars. I ain't even uh, Grambling ain't big on sports. Uh, Eric Gant made it to the league. He's a big running back. So Doug Williams, you know, he'll start from Grambling. But you know, yeah. while we while I was there, there's a couple okay, Eric Gant, he made it on he, he was actually on the Cowboys. He was a big like two hundred and fifty pound running back, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um and and Kevin Williams, his brother went down there to school with us, you know what I'm saying? But now, I don't remember no real stars, but besides Aaron McNair, he came down to ground and whooped us, you know what I'm saying? That was my era, you know what I'm saying? When Aaron McNair came through there. Watch him. Man, recently, uh, Ja Morant, you know who that is. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, he he keep throwing these pistols up in his lives, man. And man. He he jeopardized over a quarter quarter million uh quarter billion dollars yeah, easy what you easy, do what bro. you think about that bro Z. man that dude that dude 23 he still want to be gangster mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying he with his boys you know his boys still in the hood you know what i'm saying they living good you know off of him but they still in the hood so they doing hood shit he gonna do hood shit too you know what i'm saying so he pulling his pistol out you know what i'm saying because he with the boys he didn't expect that to go you know like that but mm -hmm. You know it's unnecessary. I hope the yeah. boy get it get it together because that's that's quarter million dollars. It ain't easy to come by. Quarter you know? billion. Billion. My bad. You know, quarter uh, billion for real. You would think that his father or somebody, you know, his father's the coolest nigga in the world. You hear me? He, he ain't telling him nothing different. I mean, he probably is now. Son, don't fuck this up for us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's all he's saying, man. 
So he just got. Yeah, he needs some type of mentor, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. Just, you know, right just, now, he need to get him away from the homeboy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> get away from the homeboy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, by himself, he ain't riding around with no pistol showing it and recording himself. You know what I'm talking about? What you think about old Charleston, man? Charleston White. Man. Charleston White. He, man, all I can say is that, man, he really be keeping it real, and he really has a good reason for what he doing. His 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 tact and his delivery ain't, ain't the best, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes he attacking folks that he ain't, that shouldn't be, but he talking about these, these rap boys that's out there and teaching these kids, you know, not teaching them good, you know what I'm saying? Teaching them drugs, hoes, and all that old slapping them around and taking drugs, you know, that, that ain't that ain't what's up, you know what I'm saying? Because the kids don't know no better. You, this generation right now just, man, you know. We, it, man, it's messed up out here, bro. Seems like like we living in our worst days. Yeah, man. and, and Charleston White. He was supposed to come on uh my podcast, bro. My, my 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 bro ran into him at the at the gas station. He by himself, putting gas in his car. He took a picture with him, got his number. He was real humble then. Humble. Right? Yeah. He yeah. probably called him and said, "You come, nigga. Fuck your podcast, no. nigga." <laughs> he, I, thought, I thought that's what it was. Gonna be. I told I told him, bro. I say I said that fool ain't coming on our podcast. But right before we was gonna go live, we called him. He he had his phone. Man, I'm at a restaurant. I'm gonna come check y'all out. When I finished, so I told bro right there that that fool ain't coming. But you know what I'm saying? He 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 doing his thing, bro. He getting paid. That's the, oh, he yeah. say this is a character. He say this is a character. I'm in character right now, and he originally when he off camera, but he is he is ignorant. Oh yeah, hell oh, yeah, Charleston the fool. Man, um, they put Biden in the office, man. What you what you, what? You, how you think he been doing in these four years, man? It seemed like it's been the roughest four years of. That I've not seen in a long time, probably ever. Some more people that said that too, bro. They say when Trump was in office, they they was living it up. Now, I, I mean, don't want Trump like to living in office. It. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, uh, really, I'm gonna put say it right here. Twenty twenty four. I'm voting Trump. You voting Trump? I'm voting Trump, man. All right, I ain't voting Trump. Bro. They tricked us. They tried to trick you to not like Trump. Because they know Trump was really for some of the things that the black people need. He was he was helped the black people more than than um, Obama and um, uh, what's his name that they thought was so cool. One of the Bushes, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. He both of them put together. Trump done more for the uh, black people. Yeah, but he almost started a race damn war too. And if it come down to that, white versus black, bro, it's going to be a problem. We are yeah. populating, my brother. But, you know what I'm saying? Biden, uh, Biden, 80 years old, bro. We're not going to put him back in there. You think Trump was racist? Yeah. I don't know, I man. definitely think he, that. He hung out with nothing but blacks before he got elected. Shit. You see him with too. a... Huh? Huh? I bet he called him a boy, too. No, nah, nah, he, he just don't tight, think... Man. So what is it? He just a fool? I think he just like you. No, oh, no. I think, I think, I think, man, you know, uh, you going to be for your people and your kind, right? Yeah. But you ain't racist, right? Right. I think Trump just like you, man. He for his people and his kind. And so, he for you, too. Even though you will show love for the, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to him going out and having fun and doing this and that, he with his kind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and I don't. Know, that's I just really don't think he give a damn about nobody more other than himself. Tell the truth. That's what I guess. That's what I feel. You think that? Yeah. Trump. I don't know. He didn't think he was gonna win the brand presidency, bro. He was just doing something. At first, I didn't he, get it. He privileged. He was just doing something. He didn't think he was gonna win that thing because nobody thought he was gonna win it like this. Come on, man. That's fun as hell, and he won. Didn't know yeah. what he was doing. He yeah. He got the economy popping though. When you compare, him, when you compare, right? When you compare him to Biden and them, man, yeah. he he did a damn good job with the country. Okay. On January sixth, he ain't had nothing to do with that, huh? I mean, stand down. What he should have told, but you know, 
That's neither here nor there. You know what I'm talking about. He had a bunch of followers, man. Yeah, right. And it, and it, I don't think it was more racial. It was them mad because they kicking him out the. They they cheated to put Biden in there. The good old. Boy. It was rigged. The, yeah. The. the I mean, you see what Biden had done when they got Biden in there. They they twisted his words on them good old boys. Oh huh? man, the worst four years. Man, I'm trying to tell you, he took away from us. I feel you. Um, Tina Turner, man, how you feel about that? Man, that's deep. Tina, Tina, Tina. was Tina was a legend, bro. You know what I'm saying? She, she, she made she made music that's timeless, man. You know what I'm saying? She made Ike Turner famous, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, you know, rest in peace to Tina, man. Rest you know what I'm saying? Peace, yeah, her legacy gonna live on though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Okay, uh, what was one of your favorite Tina Turner songs, man? The, the rolling. <laughs> rolling. Yeah. Because of, of the dance that go with it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? She had the little short skirt on, shake it. Do you think she would have been uh, as big as she is without Ike? Do you think Ike pushed her and helped her career? I mean, yeah, Ike was a slave driver, bro. So he made sure he, he was looking for perfection. You know what I'm saying? In the music business, you know what I'm saying? He told him, no, you got to sing this, you know what I'm saying? And he was on her right. and made her, you know, to right. push her to a potential. Right. He That's brought everything that yeah. out of her. Yeah, know, everything yeah. he could get. Every dime. Every, every, <laughs> right. every house. For real. <laughs> hey, man, your boy P.A., man. How you been doing? P.A. good, man. P.A., you know he's saying? still working on his music. He's still working on his music, bro. He uh, Shout out to P.A., man. You know what I'm talking about? He, we chopped it up the other day, you know what I'm talking about? He uh he's gonna put a little twist in it, in it, in, it, in what he doing, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't gonna give it away, but you know what I'm saying. He gonna go back to the studio. He gonna he gonna change change the game up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Not so much rap. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. Y'all be waiting on that. Okay, uh, you got any in events coming up for the Muscle Car Club? Muscle oh Up Car God. Club. Um, got a car show in September. We had our first annual car show last year. Uh, we had it up there on Delito, about where Tropics used to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the Muscle Up first annual car show, so we're going to follow that up in September. Stay tuned. You know, you can find us on Facebook, Muscle Up Car Club. You can find us on Instagram, Muscle Up Car Club. Mm -hmm. YouTube, Muscle Up CCTV. We 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 in we in we in the building, man. We all over. You know oh, what I'm saying? Ready. Yes, sir. In the podcast, too hard to swallow. Too hard to swallow. How can they find that? It's on YouTube as well. Uh, two the number two hard the number two swallow podcast. You can you can search YouTube on there. You can search Facebook on there. Yeah. But man. remember, it's too hard to swallow, and it's all together. You can find that podcast. The, the number man. two. Right. The number two, that's correct. We come on um on YouTube, Facebook Live, um, every other Wednesday at eight PM. Me and my bro, we talk about everything. It's mostly about relationships, women and children. Our last show was a father's influence. How does a father influence his children? You know what I'm saying? Because we talking about this generation of kids that's all over the place, bro. You know what I'm saying? We need our fathers to step up and do their thing, you know, because a mother can't always raise a boy. The way he needs to, and the father, you know what I'm saying, needs to be there to do his thing. Make sure he get that baby right, you know what I'm saying? Yep, yep, man. You keep on doing your thing, man. Like I say, man, you never know who looking at you and who, who you going to inspire, man, by, by the hard work you putting in. Appreciate yeah, you, man. man. You know, um, I like your hustle, bro. That. There it is, my boy Mo. In the bit, anything else in the you want to tell us, bro? Before I go, before we get got two it. books of poetry, bang. Um, called Eleven. Mm -hmm. um, written by James Bell. Got another one called My Mixed Emotions, My Evolution. It can be found on Amazon, Google, all of that. James Bell, My Evolution, Mixed Emotions, My Evolution. And you wrote these? Yeah. Oh, they poetry, okay. books of poetry. I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't a G all the time. You hear me? Man, all the time. But I'm too. all the time. You know what I'm talking about? That's what's up, man. You you, you keep your hands in something, man. You know that's what I'm saying? I, that's what I like. All man. types of hustle. Already, there it is, my boy Mo, the Grambling State graduate, the Muscle Up Car Club, 
the Too Hard to Swallow podcast. We up out of here, man. Y'all check them Young out. Young Zeke TV. There we is. Wow.